Leicester fan, Serge Pizzorno. Serge, good morning. Good morning, Serge. Morning. How's it going? You okay? Yes, we're very well. How are you? How how much are you excited about your, your new single, Algorithms? Yeah, yes, yeah, good. It's really good. We've been um we've been playing it live. Um and it's working already. Sometimes that can take like put a new song out can take years, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But this one's like connected straight away. Um, and yeah, the crowd seem to be to be having it. So yeah, it's wonderful. See, that's all right, isn't it? When you know you've you've already hit. There's a hit there. <laughs> that's what the main thing is. It's a hit. Um, I, I'm, it addresses the pitfalls in the emergence of artificial intelligence. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Seems to be sort of everywhere. I don't know. It's just it's one of those songs that like it was just a ten minute thing. You know, they're they're the dream. Like, cause, you know. It's like they're the ones that you just pick up the guitar one day, just writes itself. Didn't you know the lyrics came as as it was being written? Do you know what I mean? And sort of, and yeah, I was just as you know, I was thinking about the 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 the, the live thing especially. It's like, you know, those like we, we we get to live in the moment. You know, when you're playing those live shows, festivals, or whatever. You know, it's it's all about this this collective and this 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 moment we get to spend, and then. You know, with the AI thing, you know, or the, you know, it, it, that that isn't in the moment. That is just a collection of a thousand different things. You know what I mean? And I was mm. like, ah, there's something in that. There's, there's, there's something really, and and it's almost like the humans need a sort of national anthem. Do you know what I mean? I thought like, I need to need to write one. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And you, I know. Do, do you have a sort of worry about the music industry then, with regards to the AI technology pot- potentially? I mean, it, it's one of those things where. Certainly, you know, if I was um, if I was starting out writing, you know, and um, uh, you know those painful hours. Well, it's like anything, you know, want to be a footballer. Those, you know, those hours spent, you know, making mistakes, bang, learning, you know, the ten thousand hours things. Like if I was fifteen and I I just type in how to write a song, and then it had eight different versions of a verse. Mm-hmm. Choose the best one. Okay, cool. I get it. I'd do it myself. Do you know mm, what I mean? But mm. I don't know where that leaves us. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, God knows yeah. what it all means, but yeah. who, who knows? Serge, I'm hearing that you're an Ale- a Leicester City fan. You know, yes, I am actually, mate. Yeah, yeah. I don't, like, I don't know if what anyone happened, knows. mate. Yeah, win, not, win, winning the Premier League, that. winning the Premier League, and now into the Championship. Oh. Do you think they can um, bounce straight back? I think so. Yeah. I mean. In the end, you know, it was said that we sort of we sleepwalked our way into it. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know what, like, I've been thinking about it. We've got an, an Italian back in charge. And you know what happened the last time that, you know, <laughs> we had an Italian in charge. I think we've been really, I think Connor Cody's a great signing. Yes. See, Harry Winks, potentially, he could be an absolute baller. And, it, you know, Madders was always going to go. I can imagine him sitting there next to Jack Grealish and Jack showing him, like, Champions League medals yeah, and, and trophies and he's going I've got Rotherham next year do you know what I mean he's not going to stay <laughs> you'll so probably lose Harvey Barnes enough. as well won't you yeah yeah we need to keep keep them I mean, if I'm going to predict Vardy's going to be top scorer or we'll go straight back up Vardy will retire he'll have his statue outside the ground and then in five years we'll be back in the Champions League as if it never happened. Some <laughs> people love say it. I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, we've got to be positive, haven't you? And what you, the new boss, Enzo Maresca, has said, because of having won the Premier League, because of having won the FA Cup, you are going to be one of the key games that opposition teams will be looking at to get a scalp over you, mm-hmm. uh, um, which, you know, uh, that's a compliment, really, to, to what you guys have done in the past. Yeah, it's not, uh, you know... Yeah. The championship is serious. It's so hard and it's going to be, you know, a battle to get out of it. I- I'm glad they've gone for someone, you know, not the obvious names because the obvious names scare you a little bit because you know the football is going to be what it is. But, you know, it'd be interesting to see playing, you know, it, you know, in sp- the pet way or whatever, inspired by that, how that, that's, that, that translates to the championship. But I'd much rather see us play like that and, and give that a go. But... Listen, that that league is like you know it, it's it's tricky, and you can blink and you can be in there ten years. Like we already we already know this, yeah. do you know what I mean. So you know, I like I just I if we can just you know one or two years, just get out as quick as possible, and and then crack on, you know. Um, yeah. But I, I've got to be honest, I've got 
my boys are, I'm really excited about taking them, you know, we've got Cov away, you know, Preston. I love these trips. Those away trips, like, I remember that for me, that's that's kind of my, that's how I grew up. They're the games I went to. So I can't wait to take them to Blackburn. And, you know, I love it. I love those games. I love those teams. And I think, like, that, that's how you get real. That's I think that's what gives gives you the passion. Because then when you do get back in the Prem, you appreciate, every game then it just it got a bit you know normal but I, I don't know I, and I, I hopefully if we get a playoff game as well even better because any Leicester fan knows those playoff games that's when that's when it really <laughs> kicks in <laughs> 